So today I'm going to be walking you through how to upload your resume to TenPal. The other option is actually generating a resume using TenPal. These are both great options to fill in your history when it comes to the experience that you have in the classroom, some of the certifications that you might have and make those available to either your center director or a prospective employer and that type of thing. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to navigate to tenpal.org and log in. So the first page when you log in that you see is the dashboard. So it'll say my dashboard and there'll be options. Where you're going to want to go from here is my resume. So go ahead and click on my resume and you will it will take you to the resume page. This is uh, my resume and it says you can upload or resume directly or generate it from your profile. Now, the first thing that we're going to do and I'm going to walk you through is uploading a resume. This is if you want to have all of your information accessible um, that you've created previously. And this is pretty simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on upload resume. There you'll see that you can name or describe your resume. So uh, my name's Wesley, so I'll just put Wesley's resume. And you could put something like the date, so 2020 or 2021. From there, you're going to click over to browse under the upload option. Browsing is just selecting a file on your computer. So you'll have to make sure that you have a resume as a PDF or a Word document, and that's available on your computer. Now your screen might look a little bit different. I'm using a Mac, but the principle is the same. You will select browse and you'll find the file and you'll click open. Now, once you have uploaded your resume, you'll get a successful message. And we'll say that you have uploaded it successfully. And then from there, you'll see the description. It'll auto populate on a table. And this is where you can have, you know, multiple different resumes. So let's say I'm moving through my career and I update my resume and I upload a new one and it'll be sorted by the date that I uploaded. So that way you can sort of maintain a record of your past employment. And also, you know, depending on what position you might be applying for, you might want to change your resume a little bit um, for a prospective employer. So this is a good way to have multiple options available to you and, and stored in one place. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to generate a resume from our profile. Now, this is a really awesome option because there are a lot of tools within TenPal that allows you to enter information that is relevant to your career. So that would be, you know, creating a professional development plan, having, uh, you know, uploading your community service, whatever certifications that you have, um, volunteer hours, that type of thing. Um, and what you can do after, after those are populated into your profile, you can actually just generate a resume from that information. So we'll click add new and then we'll go to choose an option and generate resume. Now from here, what you can do is you can add your description like before, and then you can also click what you would like to include on your resume. So what, what you can do is you can go and you see all of these drop down options. Um, each one, there's education, work experience, certification, credentials, community service, and membership. All of these different things are relevant. Um, to your career in one way or other. So depending on what you're using this resume for, you're gonna to wanna to go through and select or deselect the things that you want to include. So for me, of course, I want my bachelor's on my resume, so I'll include that. And I can just click the toggle button that says include on the right hand side. And then you can go through and select or deselect any others. You know, for me, work experience, I work at signal centers. I work for the CCRNR, so that would be underneath here. I don't have certifications or credentials uh, because I work in marketing. I'm not an educator. Um, but if I did, this is where they would show up and this is where I could select or deselect them. Community service is the same and membership as well. From there, you're going to want to go ahead and click once you've decided and you've named, you, once you have all of the information that you want on your resume that is from your profile, click save and preview. Once you've selected save and preview, you can actually use the options at the bottom to download your resume. This will just essentially populate a PDF document for you with all of the information that you have. It'll have your contact information, your email address, it'll have your uh, address where you live, and then it'll have 
the rest of your information. So it'll have your employment, it'll have your education, and all of this will be in one document. So now that you've downloaded your new re generated resume, you can go back to the My Resume page and you can see where both of your resumes live. So here's one that is uh, generated from your profile information and the one that we uploaded previously. And they are right here, they're in a location where you can download them at any time, you can select them, um, and it's all just right there at your fingertips. So thanks again for using TenPal. If you have any other questions, be sure to check out our other YouTube tutorials or contact the TenPal Help Desk.